National Thought from Prince Charles speaking today about Britain's industrial future. He told delegates at an iron and steel trades union conference in Bournemouth that Britain could knock the stuffing out of her overseas competitors if the two sides of industry would only cooperate more. And he appealed for management and unions to reach a greater understanding. At the moment, the Prince says he's concerned that Britain is falling behind her industrial competitors overseas. I personally can't understand why this should be. After all, my particular experience and impression, and it may be based on people behaving in a special way because I'm around, I don't know, but my impression is that the ordinary British bloke is outstanding in every way, and I see this all the time. But somehow, we seem to lack uh, motivation. We seem to lack a little inspiration somewhere. And I won't attempt to follow that except with the main points of the news once again. In the conspiracy trial at the Old Bailey, the jury is spending the night in a hotel and resumes tomorrow, considering whether Jeremy Thorpe is guilty or innocent. An extra thousand British troops are going to Hong Kong to help the colony tackle the problem of illegal refugees from China. And the first of Britain's DC-10s to resume operations is due back at Gatwick from Crete in an hour's time. But that's the 9 o'clock news this evening, so for me, goodbye. Tonight at 10 past 11, reports from Merseyside on a pilot scheme to provide special Saturday classes for unusually bright children from poor homes and talks to two stars of a new Hollywood film about tennis. That's tonight at 10 past 11. And now look at the weather with Jack Scott. Well, it looks as though that fine weather that many of us have enjoyed is on its way out, or beginning to make its way out anyway. The high pressure that brought it is pulling away to the east. This is really a band of cloud that will come through during tonight, but this is the chap to watch, a great area of cloud that's making its way quite steadily to northern parts of the country and will bring some rain. You can see that onto this afternoon's satellite picture, that thick area of cloud there to the northwest that really is that frontal system coming away to the west, the northern part of the country. There's England and uh, northern Scotland uh, standing out quite starkly there. The fog down the east coast today, some in the southern part, all of this going away as this front advances now. And by tomorrow morning, some rain into northwestern parts of the country, and that rain uh, making its way across to the eastern side of Scotland and into northern England and North Wales by the end of the day too. A lot of sunshine still down in other parts of the country, fairly warm, not quite as warm as today, distinctly cooler in the north, the outlook changeable. Good night. Next Monday, BBC Television goes to Wimbledon for the opening day of one of the most popular and colourful sporting occasions of the year. Last year's ladies singles champion Martina Navratilova defends her title in the face of tough competition. While Bjorn Borg, aiming to win the men's title for the fourth successive year, must resist the challenge of top international players, including the number two seed, John McEnroe. In the new Radio Times, a colour feature, Game Set on McEnroe, talks to the world's most promising and controversial young tennis star. Programmes for the first week of Wimbledon 79 and a close-up look at Wizkid McEnroe, all in the new Radio Times. Monty Python's Flying Circus was the brainchild of six young men who first put their heads together ten years ago. To commemorate this anniversary, BBC One has been to the deserts of Tunisia to meet them.